Covert Plagues by Demons of the World The Lord says, And all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, so that we enter into them. Mark 5, 12 I have told you already, that in all my deeds, the deep and well-hidden secrets of my being in the flesh on earth are contained. I have put my words in a way which everyone can understand, but it's not the same with my deeds. Not even my brothers understood those, before the Holy Spirit came upon them. And when they understood them, it was also told to them by the Spirit that they should not make known to anyone the deeper meanings of my deeds because the world can and will in no way fathom it. And it's the same with this fact. If I were to explain to you the deepest meaning of it completely, you would have to cover the earth three times with writing, and that would only be the introduction. For the full explanation of the main significance of this fact, an entire solar system would not be enough in order to hold all the books that would be written about it. Due to all of this, you can clearly see what is actually behind such a fact. But if it's already said of a word that it is like a seed which is sown into the earth and brings forth much fruit, what can be said about a real deed of God? For there is a difference between the God said, let there be, and the following, it became. In order for you to grasp just a tiny bit of the greatness of such a deed, I want to reveal some of it very briefly. Why does the Lord ask the demon what his name is, since such a thing for sure is known to the all-knowing, that in this possessed human being, not only one, but an entire legion of demons is present doing evil? The Lord did surely not ask just for the names of these cruel spirits to get to know them. But why then did he ask for it? He asked in order to tell these demons who he is. For one can more easily recognize the nature of a creature from a question than from an answer. Ask a fool and he will give you an answer that will surely puzzle you. But let the fool ask you about something and you'll recognize him on account of his question immediately. However, in the spiritual, the only way to make oneself known is through a question. Thus, the Lord did not ask a question to subsequently get an answer, but to make himself known spiritually to the demons as to who he is. You also know similar situations and have already witnessed them by the so-called somnambulists, sleepwalkers. If you would ask a sleepwalker, the character of the question would be different. Not as if you want to know something, but it has the character of an exposure before the life of the sleepwalker, through which the sleepwalker looks at what is inside of you, recognizes you and completes the lack of life activity it found within you. This kind is an obvious middle level between the pure worldly or pure spiritual question. Nonetheless, it already has the spiritual character in it for the deeper thinker. Therefore, the question of the Lord to the demons means as much as, look here, there is a nakedness within me, which means that there is no evil within me. And so, the demons see this holy nakedness and thus recognize the Lord of Eternity in it. And then they say, We are a legion. With that, they don't declare their number, but rather they make known that in the presence of the highest purity of God, their evil is existent in an oversized amount. But the purity of the Lord itself forces them to leave its presence. But even then, amidst the divine purity, they see the divine mercy and call on it. In this moment, they take refuge in the humility and demand, according to their evil nature, to be allowed to dwell in the pigs. And the mercy of the Lord grants them what they have asked for out of such humility.
As they enter into the pigs, their hidden pride before the Lord awakes again. And they drive the pigs into the ocean so that they perish. And they, namely the demons, can move freely in the waters as monstrosities. That's what this picture looks like. But who is this possessed human being? This possessed human being is the entire world. This legion of demons is in the world as they are present in this man. The Lord comes to this possessed world in his word. The world wants to be freed from its secret plague. And so, the Lord frees the world. But her inner evil, vital activity is even worse in this free condition than in its bound state. When it is bound, it complains about pressure and plague. But when I free it, its activity flies right into the pigs and it plunges itself into the ocean of perdition. And on top of that, the somewhat better men of the world also want to remove themselves from me, because I am not at all convenient for their worldly industry. Because these Gadarenes are the actual industry tycoons. However, these demons, which enter into the pigs, are dandies, people with delicious tastes, voluptuaries, cheaters and all kinds of intriguers. If you want to see these pigs in various colors in the world, throwing themselves into the sea, just visit the large capital cities. You will find them there in large herds, which resemble exactly the ones in the Gospel. They also are a very large legion. They are possessed by the most corrupt demons, and they also drive them into the sea of sure perdition. Look. This is the useful and discerning meaning of this evangelic deed of the world. But that there exists another, much broader and more eternal meaning behind it needs not to be explained a second time. Firstly, you would never ever be able to fathom it. And secondly, it would be of no use to you, it would only harm you. Therefore, be happy with what you have, for the infinity is too huge. The amount of creatures in it is infinite. Their destiny for you is in most cases too unexplainable. So you also cannot possibly fathom how the possessed one represents the entire material creation and all its inhabitants, the old prisoners. This possessed one rests in the grave and is mad at the multitudes. Look at the endless amount of graves in the infinity. But enough of this. It is not the time for you here and now to understand the deepest meaning of this. Therefore, consider the first thing. It will be of good benefit to you. Amen.